Hello, everybody. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. I'm your host, PC Outcast, and we are kicking off the Pure Archery build, number three in the single skill series. Hello, Phoenix, and Balthazar, and Logan, and Dennis. I'm going to say Dennis. And Lorem. How are you guys doing? Hope you can all hear me. And here's our guy. Ziroc. Oh, yeah. Now, I was going to go with a, um, a, a longbow to start off. But I couldn't find a good uh, retexture. Like, look at look how uncomfortable that would be. It, the, the sharp edges, it's literally a square. Like, wouldn't you kind of round that off a bit? <laughs> I don't know. That seems... Ouch. So we're going to use a hunting bow, which at least has some leather wrapped around there. Now, I do have bow gasm installed, so we should come across some cool-looking bows. I thought it was going to completely revamp all the, all the bows, but I don't know. And uh, we're going to need... I, I'm thinking we're going to get a, a follower, right? Like a meat shield. Sven. Sven, I'm calling you. Five arm is on time. Hey, man, how's it going? Anyway, as you can tell from uh, the belt there, we're not going to be... Uh, we're not going to be having Fandal help us out. Or Fandal. He might feel a little intimidated. So let's go talk to Sven. My father is Alvor, the blacksmith. I'm his assistant. I mean apprentice. Cool. Do you sell Someday, I'm going arrows? To my own sword. Well, I don't need a sword. Thanks. Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. Shoot him in the throat. Thanks, Daniel. <laughs> yes, two people spending time together never blossoms into courtship. Is that sarcasm? I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnar. Ah, still, you have a point. Camilla letting Feindel visit her isn't a good thing for me. Here, let me give you a particularly... Okay, vote in chat. What do you think of Camilla? Is Camilla hot enough... To be fought over by two guys or is it just like she's the only single girl in town and they can't be bothered walking down you know down the road a kilometer to uh meet any of the lovely ladies that are in uh white run am i uh, has he actually Until next time told me what to do now yeah there we go Feindal does allow you to train the archery skill. Of course, um, with the unofficial mo um, patch, I don't think you can do the whole cheaty thing where you can have him as a follower and then just take the money back after he trains you. Kata! Welcome to the stream! To do something. You made it! I said no! No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing! Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it! We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. Sorry, Maybe I'd... you could talk some sense into my pig-headed brother. Uh, sure. I have a letter, though. For you. From Feindal? That's strange. He's never written to me before. What... what is this? Is this what he really thinks about me? Well, you can tell that... that long-eared ass not to come around the store anymore. He's not welcome. Enrico! Yeah, this should be great. Only game in town, yeah. Yeah, uh, Sven often gets murdered by a giant when I have him as a follower. <laughs> Do you think they're both familiar with her? Yeah, she, they kind of hang out with her, I guess. Need that letter ought to convince Camilla to never speak to Feindal ever again. I think it probably worked. Now that's what I like to hear. Good work. 
I think you deserve some gold from my tips at the inn. 25 gold? How many arrows can I buy for that, my dude? Follow me. Lead the way. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Right. All right, let's take a look at Sven's skill set. And night is falling, falling on us here. Doop ba doop. We've got follower framework. This is a great mod. Really gives you a lot of, a lot of good info actually. Sven has 101 health. He's currently level six. 52 magicka, 72 stamina. Speed is normal. He's got a bit of an alchemy skill. He's got some. Pre he's pretty low on block actually. Enchant. He's better at enchanting than blocking. Interesting. Uh, light armor. Okay, he's better with light armor. One-handed. Two-handed. Really? One-handed and two-handed are equal. Archery is only twenty. Is there a mod in chat? Um, do, 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 do. I'm going to hang on just a second. Lauren, if you would like to do the honors, I'm going to make you a mod. And uh, you can just approve messages that um, that YouTube accidentally grabs like Enrico's. I'm just going to release that. It's a slight swear. That's fine. Totally fine. The minor swearing is, is okay in the chat. Just uh, don't overdo it. <laughs> Then often gets accidentally killed by you. Sounds about right, Logan. Okay. So, actually, let's go to Sven's house and see if we can get any more gold. And uh, use that to buy a few more arrows. What I want, I want all your money is what I want. No problem, Enrico. Okay, I'm literally just going to steal carrots at this point. Ooh, three mores. Let's read that. Mods assemble. As you can see, uh, your son and I are good friends. He doesn't mind me. What am I stuck on? He doesn't mind me uh, taking all your alcohol and knocking your pots off on the ground. And you guys it's really do spin. not have a whole lot of money, do you? Or anything, really. Okay. All right. Go sell that junk off and let's get going. Getting dark as it is. We gotta go and find a place to go shoot some people. <laughs> Every time I see Sven, I wanna either insult him or physically hurt him. <laughs> I think it's probably likely that he will end up uh, getting hurt. Did I? Did I have? I had some black briar meat on me. Okay. Uh, got any work? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Yeah, that's pretty much how it works, DSPA. Right? Yes. Yes. Totally. All right, we are we are gonna have to get uh, spend some gear. Otherwise, he's gonna be super. Oh no, he's already gone in. Does that mean he won't? I don't think he is open for business. 
No, that's too bad. Never really bothered you that much. That's good. Okay, let's go and do... I'm not going to do that right now. Go do uh, this one. See if we can if we can manage. I only have 35 arrows, so we'll see. Just started a playthrough as a Bosmer Druid, and there's no other choice for me than to help Feindal, even though I don't really need archery or a follower because I got all the wild beasts at my side. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. Blood is literally squirting out of me. Can can you go and yeah, we got we got bleed effects on here, folks. Not good. Oh, an, an amethyst on the dog? Wow. I am still bleeding? How long does this bleed effect last? No? Oh, it doesn't show on your... Hmm... There, finally. Good grief. Yet again with the dogs. I'm sorry, okay? In my defense, that dog was going to attack me. Um, I will take all of that, I guess. And oh, he Ooh, Sven. Sven, you got you got some arrows in the air there, bro. Uh, the that is, I th think it's more HUD that shows that. Uh, Enrico, um, target data. Oh, ingredient effects, other effects. Enemies level? Yeah, there you go. Enemy meters, magic and stamina, health numbers, and all that stuff. Yeah, that's all more HUD. Okay, let's... I know you're gonna look like a bandit, which is not really very good. What do you want me to carry? But here you go. Where, um... I guess that one, that, and that. Lead on. Eesh. Ouchie. And a little bit of lock picking, I guess. Oh, so close. He's good until an arrow hits his knee, exactly. By the way, if you guys would like to see the uh, nice new um, uh, animations, the thir third person animations, we al already saw that you're holding the bow differently with this mod. So this is uh, the archery gameplay overhaul. Changes the crouch position as well. I didn't install combat uh, gameplay overhaul, which would allow us to shoot, well, oh, hello. Allow us to shoot while we're jumping in the air, but that is an option as well. Now there should be two guys here, right? Try to oh. Sven Sven. Really. Mess. Take all that, and did my other arrow drop here somewhere? No, 
don't know. Can't find it. Oh man, this has got a lot more uh, arrow drop. Interesting. Gonna get used to that. Hey okay, Sven, there's a there's a bandit chief with a giant axe coming this way. Oof. Oh god, oh god, oh god, run 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 run. Anywhere if I can, I can like jump up and be like Oh, 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 come on. Jump, 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 jump. Up, up, up on the... No, no. Up on the... What is there, like, some sort of... Some kind of weird... Invisible wall going on here? Oh, boy, he's close. He's really close. Sven! Sven! Bro! Then, bro. I think that bleed effect is worse for me than it is for them. A lot worse. <laughs> well, he's down to uh, half health. And apparently he's completely forgotten about me. And just stand over here. Guess it's all clear now. You guys gonna fight? No? Yeah, archery starts off pretty slow. There we go. We're at 23. So as soon as we get a point, we can... Uh, Increase our damage by 25%, which is going to make a fairly big difference. 23 viewers on the stream right now. Hello, everybody. Kabuto. I hope I'm not completely butchering your name. I do not pronounce Japanese names very well. Uh, bro? Hmm. Dude, just found your channel and I've been watching the alchemy playthrough and I'm loving it. Gonna, I'm gonna get shot in the back here in a minute. Er, Oops. Take him down. Oh, nice, we did it. Uh, anyways, for finishing your thing, just watching the alchemy playthrough, loving it. I'm gonna do the alteration one next, then this one. Love your series because it shows me exactly which skill, what each skill tree on Ordinator actually does. Keep up the great work. I'll be here for years. Thank you, my man. Only just got the notification for the stream now. Well done, YouTube. Well done. Ooh, that guy is like riddled with arrows. Look at that. Ouch. Uh-oh. Just leveled up sneak. You know what that means? We're gonna suddenly become a sneak archer. Ah. Oh. I don't think, um... I don't th think Sven can do that. I, you know what? I might be able to get him... A healing spell. I wonder if this mod will allow him to do that. Hello, Simon. Greetings from Poland. Very nice. Thank you for joining me from all the way across almost the other side of the planet. Well, not quite. All right. Well, we managed to do that with uh, the use of 14 arrows. And that's in addition to the ones we picked up. So, yeah. Okay, we'll go and do some selling and burn this quest in and load up on arrows. And I think we also leveled up, so that's nice. Yeah, exactly. Be beating people up, beating people to death with your shield. <laughs> All right, where do we turn this in? Prevent us. 
let's wait till morning and then uh, teleport over to White Run. Yeah, I'm, so I'm going to be using the Turge of the Blooded to help out. And I'm also going to be using a mod to uh, increase the bleed a little bit on the shield. So that should be kind of interesting. Make it a little bit more viable, at least. I do have another follower framework. You can use it to teach spells. Oh. Mm, oops. Gameplay? Okay, that's all aggressions of combat. Healer roll. Oh, interesting. You can actually set the percentages at where they will heal you or heal themselves. Bleed out. Uh, wish the, this color was different. Like super hard to read on this uh, this mod. Taunting, gold sharing. What is that? Magic. I can, basically can't read that. Um, minions. Man, there is all kinds of good stuff with this mod. No wonder you guys have been recommending this to me. I'm. I think for the enchanting one, Kabuta, I'm going to. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably end up enchanting either bows or daggers. If you'd like to kind of see my vision, more or less, of what the all enchanting build would be, check out uh, Ponty's Soul Knife build. It's a, it's a uh, vanilla build, which so anybody can can follow it. He shows off just how powerful enchanting a bunch of uh, dragon priest daggers, which are. Some of the weakest daggers in the game. He shows off how you can become totally overpowered with that. It's pretty cool. Can't wait for speech only. Yeah, it's the it, Logan. That is literally the only build in the series that I'm going to be using uh, shouts. And of course, we'll be able to shout quite a bit, which will be pretty nice. Learn spells from books. Teach spells you know. Teach spells dialogue. All are just going to learn new spells if you trade books with them. They must have the magicka to cast a spell to learn it. You can also teach them spells that you know. That's really cool. This is, this is, I've been, I don't know if you guys have been following at all on the uh, Discord, but I've been talking a little bit about a mage playthrough that I've been toying with for quite a while. And the I, part of it is to build a um, build a rival school, like a school that rivals the College of Winterhold. And this might be useful for teaching students spells. I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, you can also enchant the Shiv. That's a good point, DSPA. Okay, so this is cool. So if I, like, say, selected this and then bought him a healing spell, that should work, right? Yeah, assuming he has enough magicka for it. I mean, he's got, um... He's got 52 magicka, so he should be able to cast healing for a few seconds, at least. Wouldn't be too bad. Another wanderer. I serve Jarl Balgrub as stu- Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Ansexual, you are... 24 minutes uh, late for the show, but that's not too bad. We only just gained the first level, so... Not super bad. Let, let's just test that out. I, I've never actually taught a... Uh, I have that. I've never actually taught a spell to a follower so um let's see we want yeah that's going to probably be too expensive for him to cast so let's do healing just regular healing you know if you've got the aptitude 
And where? Where did Sven get off to? Is he sitting down somewhere? Sven. Sven? Oh! He's chilling over there. There you go. That's actually probably a good spot to do it. Seems fairly appropriate. It seems this Enchanted fork, the fork of horror pollution, exactly. <laughs> okay, let's save it there and try this out. I've never actually experimented with this mod before. So, magic, learn spells from books. So, assuming he has enough magicka for it. I've got your back. I'd like to give you something. What do you want me to carry? I hope that just giving it to him like this works. There you go. He has learned he healing. Very nice. So he does have enough spells or what enough uh, magicka for it. Are you still carrying the book? No, you actually read it. That's really cool. Actually, I'm going to take that and that and uh, both of those. You hey, Ocelum. Uh, I sh should be able to sell this guy some... Oh no, he doesn't buy... I thought he would buy, um, jewelry. Or he buys jewelry, but I mean not... Uh, he doesn't buy the individual gems. Which is a little bit odd. Okay. So just, um... Yeah, fortunately I don't have any... I don't have any uh, modded spells unless... I don't think Ordinator adds spell books, does it? I think it's just uh, perk-based spells. So we should be okay for that. Fork of Hunger, Lifesteal, and Champion Cudgel and Champ... Oh my goodness, yeah. <sighs> Ouch. What mod would help you to give followers new spells? Yeah, is there a, is there a mod? Is there a way to teach ba um, you know, vanilla followers spells from like apocalypse and stuff like that? Is there a, like a patch for that? Of course be the uh the real yeah, chef real. take a look oh you wanted to know which mod this is it's called a uh, nether's follower framework sorry about that dim dimalina dimalina come back anytime if you need the gourmet <laughs> That's a good one, man. The Gourmet. Oh man, we got a new build to work on now. You take all of that. And uh, yeah, actually, I, I might be able to give... Does, does anybody know if this will work? Like, if I give this um, armor of minor restoration, will it actually benefit uh, Sven when he wants to cast healing? That would be interesting, to say the least. Oh, Nethers works for Apocalypse. Nice. It will also teach modded spells. That's good to know. Okay, Sven. Unfortunately, it makes you look even more like a cheap, poor bandit, but I do have AGO installed. Here. Where's that? Instead of this. Oh boy. Well, now we get to see his hairy chest. That's unfortunate, but he should be able to at least heal himself a little bit. Well met, traveler. Most trouble in white one. I'll call you. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must 
have more swords for the Imperial have you met soldiers. my father hmm. I have met your father actually I just uh, got some money from him okay do you have arrows nice Ooh, Anon A is a new member of the channel, the very first one. Thank you very much, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Uh, don't let me forget to add you on, um, oh, subscribe, join the Discord so I can give you your your special and uh, member color. You guys have any suggestions too? And other perks that you'd like to see for being a member of the channel? Please let me know. I am going to grab all of those, I guess. Sure. Now I got lots. War Axe of Sapping? No. Conjuring Magica? You get that for Sven too. Oh, we can actually see which stats are boosted. Nice. Nice, nice. Tom is at uh, Tom Miller is now recognized as not not a non anymore. Yeah, you were showing up as a non A. Now you're Tom. Hi Tom. <laughs> Don't forget to check inside the shop. Let's check. Let's check his right stats. Oops, not not that. I keep wanting to go into uh, dialogue with him. Okay, let's look at your stats. So we should have. You can also edit their stats if you want to cheat. Okay, so it's not affecting Magicka, obviously. Hmm. So it's not in their perks, maybe? No. Abilities? Shows you what is damage and frost resistance. That's really nice. Actually shows you what his armor rating is. That's pretty cool. Base abilities, outfit and gear. Good evening, Hastor. All our outfits, unused, standard outfit. Equipping actions, this mod is incredible. You can change their home bases. Is it in tweaks? Oh, uh, only for base stats, doesn't show what his reduction is. Well, we, we should be able to get somewhat of an idea um, based on like how much he uses the health uh, regen thing only works for base stats Sven defaults to non-aggressive should we change that Combat roll standard. Default healer and tank are possible choices that th at this time may conflict with followers that have their own taunt or healing AI packages. Uh, default. It's default style. Hindu mercenary, defender, berserker, archer, ranger, spell sword, wizard, magician, priest, balanced. Interesting. And of course, yeah, as Hastor pointed out, there's uh, level caps. And Ocelum. Yeah, I think, um, what is, um, Let's get going, then. oh, wait a minute. Um, does, good. does this mod remove this, the caps? Because usually follower mods do. System. Now that's just like, Hotkeys and things. Put 
the top one to healer? Oh, so that he'll actually use that. Healer. Taunt sound at male average. And the bottom one to priest. So he'll actually, is that to get him to actually use the uh, class lumberjack? What? Oh, no, he's not a lumberjack, he's a freaking bard. Come on, man. And remove the caps, a bit tricky if you don't have all the prerequisites installed. Oh, okay. So it doesn't do, do it by default. Oh, well, whatever. Let, let's get on with this. Let's level up archery for the first time. So what are we going to do? A little bit of health. I'm, I'm thinking sort of one health to two magicka. Does that sound good to you guys? And our first perk gives us 25% more damage. Let's get nice. Done well. And okay, let's go uh, we'll kill us a dragon. No, let's go clear out. You know what we should actually do is uh, this. The, uh, all the hunting stuff. Do that. You can also do tank. Oh, I can get a tank separately, right? It, how, how many, uh, followers can I have with this... with this, uh... mod? Anybody know? Oh, that's cool. So you get a warrior, put the top to tank, and the bottom to defender, and they'll actually taunt and take aggro off of you. Nice. Uh, yes, I think. This should cause... Ooh, boy, that's kind of shaky. It's causing shake, but it's not, um not draining my stamina. And why is he not using a weapon? Is he not using a weapon because of the changes we just made? Let's get going then. I mean, I don't, I don't want him, I want him to be more of like a spell sword, right? Should I change him to spell sword? I don't want him to only do healing. Um Yeah, let's let's try spell sword. That can I hope that's gonna work. Yeah, unfortunately I don't think we're gonna be able to actually use uh Lion's Arrow because it requires dual cast. Yeah, so this should have a both like a fatigue setting. Bow camera, bow crosshair. Uh, arrow wounds on player and NPCs, persistent arrows, arm fatigue. There you go. Holding your bow drawn for too long will drain stamina, shake the camera, and shake the controller if you have one. That is enabled, but it doesn't seem to be draining my stamina. DSBA just finished the sausage rolls for everybody. Awesome. <laughs> And 33 people in the stream. Thank you very much for the support, my friends. Whoa. No, I don't want to steal those. Hey, the, um... Diadem of the Savant. No, it's a circlet of minor archery. Hmm... Really? I can wear it... I can wear it under my hood. By the way, this is, uh... He is Ron's long-lost brother. <laughs> Alright, 15% more damage? Sure, why not? Charlie could be doing online school, but... 
watching this well, instead. Well, Thank you very much, Charlie. Another city rat crawled outside the walls. I don't suppose you've come up here to tell old Froki about your supposed divines. Um, no, I don't believe in the divines. Good. This is Skyrim. And we should honor the old ways. Unofficial or patch. Respect their own gods, much less kind in her sacred trials. Yeah, I think uh, AGO also has some enchanted arrow type stuff. We'll have to see what we can get made when we have a little bit more money. What are the sacred trials? An old Nord tradition. The test to prove your worth in the eyes of Kai. He has a ring of minor oh, archery too. Will he give that to us when we complete the trials? Maybe? He gives us his bow, I think, right? And blesses the hunter who will face their champions. True Nord hunters are those who survive the trials. Do you think you're strong enough for Kind's blessing? I would be glad to pass this tradition down. Uh, yes, please. Tell me what I need to do. Defeat guardian beasts blessed by Kind. Is it okay if I fill them with arrows? <laughs> the symbol of the wolf, the crab, and the schemer. This will compel the guardian to appear. He keeps his ring. Well, we're not going to kill the old guy because he is kind of taking care of uh, this boy. So, defeat the guardian mud crab, skeever, and wolf. Uh, so, what do I need to do? Return when you've defeated the guardian wolf, crab, and skeever. Uh, the diadem was removed because of the patch. Thanks, five arm. I was wondering why I don't come across the diadem here. I think the last time I was here, I was like, wait. Hmm. Are you serious about a skeever? Don't mock it, Pop. Even the lowliest beasts can kill the weak and arrogant. We'll try more powerful enemies next, if you survive this. If you find his bow and bring it to him, he might give it to you. It's not super fantastic, though. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling it's probably not that amazing. Enchant arrows from AGO is spells destruction, so it will level your destruction. Oh, if you're planning on just getting it to 20, you can pick just dual casting and use it for lion's arrow. Not removed. It's been moved somewhere else. Interesting. Uh, is Hamming your son? Grandson. He's a strong lad. His parents were at Helgen when... Well, you know. Mm, I don't know anything about Helgen. All right. All right. Or Calcum mine with flawless diamonds stuck. Really? Where would that be? We got the, the chopping block thing there. Ah. Pickaxe? Oh, right there. Wow. Very nice. Thank you, Lorem. Yeah, I used to use the um, Skyrim XP mod in Legendary, but they never pa they never uh, ported it over to SE. That one um, had more things that l give you experience than the experience mod. I really liked it because you could uh, you could gain experience by like reading books and picking flowers and all kinds of stuff. It's pretty cool. Turning off skill caps for the, um, for followers is probably fine, because then they'll continue to level with you, right? But turning off skill caps for the player, I, I guess it depends. You need to balance it with more, I think, hardcore difficulty.
Yeah, I, I actually fiddle, uh, played around with a survival, like trying to create a survivalist RPG mod list and reduced all my skills to zero to start off with. That was pretty cool. You're, you're so bad at everything. <laughs> Okay, that's the wolf. Um, closest place is Pine Watch, I guess. The Eloquent Reader. Fighting mobs over level 600? Oh my goodness. Youch! I like a challenge. Did I level again? No. Not yet. Uh, so the magical wolf is there's a wolf uh oh oh all the wolves are coming out now I think uh, Sven might be trying to chase them down oh oh whoa whoa right there Guardian Wolf got one in the butts right there. Nice. And let's go get the Guardian Wolf. Where is he? Come and get it. Nice. Yeah, it's a single player game. Mod it however you want. I don't understand people that are like, you must do it this way. Like, whatever, man. It's not like it's a multiplayer game. That is a giant mud crab. All right, mud crab. Oh, we did the magic ninja dodge. Oh, all the floating damage things all over the place. Oh, he's done. Yeah, whatever suits your needs. Ow. Oh, my arrows. Oh, my arrows. Okay, that's the guardian one done. Where's the last one? Uh, is that the skeeper there? Yep. I have never played with Obus. I really do need to... Oh, that's dark. I really do need to uh, play with that one of these days. All right, Skeever. Ah! Oh, he's coming. He is literal. Oh, that is a giant Skeever right there. That's interesting. What was going on there? I thought it, it kind of seemed like he was attacking the skeever right through the ceiling. Okay. Good, good. So those trials are done. Ugh, 
Why is it so dark all the time? Come on. What a shot! <laughs> Go for the vanilla star. There are already five bandits plus a trained bear waiting at Ember Shard. Ooh. Come, come. I haven't got all day. Well, I defeated the guardians. Maybe you're not so soft after all. Now you're ready for a real challenge. Bandit Minotaur the in the first the barrow? And the mammoth. Keepers. Reminds me of playing uh, uh, Requiem when I walked into Bleak Falls Barrow and there's like 200 Draugr. What should I do now? The guardian spirits of Bear, Mammoth, and Sabercat await you. Return when they are defeated. Here's where you need to go. Immersive wenches, deadly wenches, and they have the necromancer with them? Shh. Also try Yash if you want to start with a character that really sucks skill-wise. I have been thinking about doing a Yash playthrough. Because it looks like it would probably be quite a bit easier to install than Requiem, just because Requiem has not officially been ported to uh, Special Edition. A little bit more tricky about getting that going, and I've never tried Yash anyway, so... One of these days, I should probably do that. I think yeah does Yash? Yeah, Yash makes it that enemies can follow you out of doors too, right? You can't do that cheaty thing. I mean, you can run if you can actually run away from them. Um, I think... Yeah, we're going that way. Oh, and playing death is death. Ugh. Yeah, I've been playing a bunch of uh, Minecraft, and I die so much. I'm like... I really don't want to be playing on uh, permadeath. I suppose we have to go down, right? Yeah, like it's right under us. Okay. Would you guys like to see me uh, do any Minecraft on this channel? Alright, is this the Horker? Yeah, where's the, uh... Gotta be. Gotta be the Horker, right? No. Mammoth, Bear, Saber Cat. This is the Saber Cat. I don't I don't want to deal with those horkers if I don't have to. Oh, there is a chest over there though. Where where is this neighbor cat? Craft it up! Minecraft, please. Okay guys. We will look into that. Um hello. Oh crap. <laughs> Ah! Woo! Okay then. Hey, let's... I think I need to get you something better than a, than a dagger. Come on, he just comes straight for me. Oof. Oof. Cat food, exactly. Alright, Sven. Does um does this mod add any command followers? You can also do the whole uh remove projectiles thing. Okay, Sven, I need you to take one for the team, okay? I want you to 
Call player horse. Command single. Um, no, I want you to... Wait, follow behind, retreat. Command single? Then? Do me a favor. What do you need? Okay, that's not working. That's that Sven! Wait! Sven! Still need me to do something? Dude. I've got you. you back. Um, I need you to do All something. Right. What is it? What do you need? I want you to go uh right there. No, it's not. Anything else? Well crap. What if I go uh, run? No, no, no. Ah. Okay, okay, I think they're fighting. Oh, he's got a lot of health. Hey, Sven's healing himself. And Sven is down. Move, move. Yeah. Where'd he go? He's losing health. Oh, okay, he, um. Yeah, Sven's down again. Wait, come back here, Kitty. Kitty. He doesn't like water. Ah. Come on, cat. Nice kitty. Pretty kitty. Not a not a vicious murdery kitty. No 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 no. Okay, he's going down. Slowly. Slowly. He's bleeding too. Oh, yes, and we gained another level. Awesome. Add deadly winches. I have immersive winches in my um, bard playthrough. I haven't s actually, I'm not sure if I've actually seen deadly winches. Okay, stamina. And let's see what we got. So we can do 50% more damage, critical strikes with bows and crossbows do 2% crit. Uh, per level of archery. That's nice. Wing strike, bashing with a bow or crossbow staggers the target. Bows and crossbows deal 20% more damage to that target for 10 seconds. Very nice. Clean kill is a good one too. 20% more damage when the enemy is at full health, but there's no point in getting that until you have this. I think we'll just do that one. Wing strike's cool. This is good when they get in close. This is good for kind of your opening shot. Yeah, let's go ahead with this. Next level, we'll do the wing strike thing. All right, next. Next west. Oh, come on. You're not going not gonna to jump to it for me, map? Not over there. Hard to see where it is. Okay, there's one. Defeat the mammoth. This should be not easy at all. Sven can craft arrows, potions, tort. Really? Uh, I have 43 right now. So you can craft arrows. How does that work? Do I do it here? I'd like to see your additional additional follower inventory. Of course. What is that? Extra storage. Interesting. Um, I need you to do right. something. What, what do you need? No, 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 not Anything that. Else? Hmm. So we go into Nethers, and. I guess, uh, follower abilities? 
That's their damage. Roll is healing. Oh! It's actually showing which spell he has. And his roll is to seal heal self. Tweak. Follower mount, interaction, follower protection, crafting. When sandboxing allows the follower to create extra arrows instead of bolts of a lesser quality than are available to the player. The higher the archery skill, the more they will make at one time. This only occurs when she is in the vicinity of a forge, has a cooldown of eight in-game hours. That's interesting. Can also craft potions. Create potions, their potency is based on the player's level. The higher the alchemy skill, the more they will make at one time. This only occurs when she's in the vicinity of an alchemy station. Has a cooldown of eight hours. Torches. Weapons. Sharpen weapons. Temporarily improve their weapons for minor damage buff. Plus one. This only occurs when they're in the vicinity of a sharpening wheel. Cooldown of six hours. Huh. That's really interesting. You can also get them to make bolts. Steel bolts, specifically. Instead of arrows. I guess there are only steel bolts and, um... What's the other one? Steel steel and dwarven. That's why they have... The arrows, there's a lot more levels of arrows. Okay, that's interesting. I don't think that's really worth it for me. I mean, yeah, he could have some extra ones, I guess. I really do need to get him better weapons, though. Yeah... Yeah, gonna have to do that, I think. A dagger is not really cutting it. And if I give him, like, a shield, is he going to still be... Like, will he unequip the shield and heal himself? And then re-equip the shield? Does anybody know that? A pretty cool mod, actually. I... Didn't like it at first, and then, um... But the more I've been using it, the better it is. Oh boy, here we go. Nine hundred health. Did you just say that you surrender? Oh my. Okay. Does the bleed stack? Can't tell. He is dropping in health pretty quick. Well, Sven is uh, doing the best he can. Ben's down. Okay, he will switch, you think, eh? Is he, is he coming around? He's just gonna keep taunting me. He kind of seems like he can't actually... Oh. <laughs> well, Sven tried to heal himself. Look at all those arrows. Eek. All the arrows in the, uh, in the imaginary, or imaginary, the spirit creature, spirit, um, mammoth. There you go. You should probably think about healing yourself up a little bit more before running at it there, Spin. Oh, he's down again. Yep, might just burn through all my arrows here. Yeesh. Oh, he's running away. 
running really far away. Yeah, he's just dropping ectoplasm, I guess. Ooh, archery leveled up. Good God, I just slammed my mic. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, we did it. Ben somehow survived all that. Um, I'm gonna take those. And yeah, I'm gonna have to go buy some more arrow arrows before we take on the last guy. Uh, do I have locational damage? No, unless, uh, unless, AGO has it. Did it have? I thought it did have some. Oh, oh enchanted arrows. S scaling weight. Um, uh, no. So it's not on there, right? Locational damage would actually be really handy. I remember using the original uh, locational damage, which was super buggy, but it uh, was really cool. You could like shoot guys in the leg and then they would be able to only be able to run like really slow. You guys gonna? No trouble. Okay, you guys are good. I don't claim to be... Take a look. Oh, I haven't actually picked up any loot. Oh, and he has not restocked. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. We will be back. This is not good. Got something for just about everybody in here? Give a holler if you have any questions. Yeah, like if he if he gets an arrow in him when he's really low level, he will bleed out. Hagraven or Ho what are you hunting? Never mind. I don't want to know. Ooh, steel arrows. Hmm, I also got the Imperial Bow, which is better than we've got. The bow that I really, really like, though, is, um... It's called the Steel... Imperial Steel or something like that? It's pretty rare. It looks really nice, though. One of my favorite looking bows in Skyrim, actually. Uh, the only... Yeah, the only bow that... Uh, out does that bow for me is the glass bow from Oblivion. I always like that bow. So we got some bow options here. Bow of chills, bow of sh uh, embers, bow of shocks. Maybe extra fire damage. That would be kind of cool. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with using some enchanted stuff, is there? Eh. Um... Yeah, okay, let's take take those and take those. Yeah, we need to uh we need to spring steel bow. Thank you, Balthazar. That is the one. Thank you very much for your business. Now let's equip our steel ones. What do they look like on our Ooh. Well that's very nice looking. You there. We're oh. looking for someone in a woman. Ooh. What? She's likely we are not welcome here in the White House. Okay. So we will be in sure, man, sure. Keep an eye out. Okay, so there's the bear left now, and they are there. Oh, Zephyr, yes. That's a nice one too. Uh oh don't want to waste a iron arrow on a wolf a couple of wolves <laughs> they're not bleeding oh he is just a little bit Did I just shoot the I feel like I just shot the ground get him Sven get him
Oh. Come on. Trapped. Another bow that's pretty nice is the... Oh, how do I get up there? Hmm. Another bow that would be pretty nice is that uh, the black bow. It, it is the black... Is the black bow the one I'm thinking of that has the... Um, the... Is it drain? Drain enchantment? It's, it's like, it's similar to the Champion's Cudgel um, Chaos Enchantment, but it's not quite as powerful. Okay, Steel Arrows. Hello? Oh, there you go. Yes, definitely quick save. Like how that uh, bow just kind of, I mean, the arrow just magically appeared. Okay. Um, hmm. There. Oh, he's already down. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> Bear. Bear now. No bear! Can you get me here? Oh crap. Okay. You can't get me here, I don't think. And also, I can level up. Woo! Difficulty is Master Maxell. Okay, we got wing strike, we got long shot. Bows deal up to 40% more damage to targets beyond 50 feet. Damage bonus increases as distance increases. And steady hand number one, we can zoom. He spells picnic baskets. <laughs> mm, nom, nom, nom. It's a picnic. Okay, uh, you distract him with your body there, Sven. And I'll pepper him with arrows from far away. And we're just gonna to go down here. I don't think you can get me here. I don't hope. I hope not. Level 32. Greater Ursine Guardian. Sven gets up, Sven gets down. Oh god, no, 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 no! Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Black Bow of Fate doesn't... It, it's not quite the same as Chaos, I don't think. And it requires soul gems for charging. Whoo! My health! My health! Where did he go? Oh, he's... Oh, they're fighting over there? Yes, I think Sven just... Ooh, Sven's taking some big hits. Youch, that was, that was painful. Sven is... Still standing? Question mark? Yeah, he's still standing. I want to get a get a shot on this bear. Oh, it's far. Ooh, nice. Hmm. Did I miss? I missed. I missed twice. I probably hit Sven. Oh, ow. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I am back to full health, so that's that's that at least. Hello? Oh, he's run away now because his health is so low. That's what's happening. He is almost dead. And done. Nice. Can I get some of my uh, some of my arrows back? By any chance? Uncle Shao approves the cheese. Baking some poppy seed bread today. That sounds good. I'm going to after the stream. I'm going to make a uh, blueberry cheesecake. Two of them. Come on. Two? Is that really all I can get? That's sad. Uh, Zypher doesn't need, um, or Ziffer. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, that doesn't need soul gems, does it? Come, come. I haven't got all day. You do kind proud. Only one challenge remains. Go and defeat the troll champion. Here's where you Troll go. champion. That's it, eh? Mm -hmm. It's the last one. Where be the troll? He is the inside Grey Winter Watch. Oh no! Just fires twenty five percent faster. Yeah, is it twenty five percent faster than the longbow, or is it twenty five percent faster than a regular dwarven bow, which is basically the same as a longbow? I always liked uh, the longbows because they're so fast. Same thing with uh, bound the bound bow. Since it's weightless. There will always be talk of food. Yes, indeed. Oh, uh, DSPA. Molly was saying she really, really... She's starting to really... Um, what's the word? Like, she's starting... Um, streaming is starting to really grow on her. She loves how... Just like, man, it's so awesome when, you're, when your viewers, like start interacting with each other they're not they're not just coming to interact with you right they're interacting with each other they're like hey how you guys doing good to see you again and then you start developing community uh like inside community jokes like the food thing oh boy welp uh yeah we got multiple multiple um Rolls. I don't know. We might need to get ourselves some like enchanted, enchanted uh, fire arrows or something. Dude, dude, can you can you? Oh, I just went through the thing. Of course I did. first and the dogs the dogs too of course spending Sven is getting troll old help him <laughs> uh oh and we're going to 
to step outside. <laughs> uh, you don't think uh, speed actually does anything for us? Okay. Change changes all bows to one speed. Huh. Oh crap! That did he die or did he? Uh, there's no way he died. We got one. Where's the other one? I think he might have actually died. No, he's up there. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm out of the good arrows. Okay, we're gonna have to come back and do this another. Oh no. No, 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 no. No. I have to do this one. Yeah, forget it. No, we're gonna have to come back here when we're tougher. If it was just the one troll, maybe. Oh, we have a we have a perk. Um, hmm. We could do the first uh, zoomy zoom thing. I think I'm gonna do wing strike. Pretty cool. Twenty percent more damage. So it staggers the target, and then you do twenty percent more damage to that target for ten seconds. So that sounds kind of cool. Let's switch to uh, daytime, shall we? Ben monkey. Is that like donkey? Uh, let's, let's clear out Voltheim Towers. Gonna get some money there. And there's also a, uh, a bow. An enchanted bow. Alright, we've got her. Oh, she doesn't have a whole lot of health. <laughs> Sven just took that like a champ. Did I mess? There we go. Yeah, we need... We need cash. Sweet cash. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we, we got multiples incoming. Hey, you're, whoa! That's not quite what I meant to do, but okay. He's down. I'm gonna go loot him. Sven is uh, trying to hold them off as best he can. I think we're down to iron arrows. That's sad. Oh boy. Bandit chief. Oh, don't, don't kill Sven. Don't accidentally kill Sven. That would be bad. Oh, God! Oh, right in the face with the massive hammer. I think I have some healing potions. There we go. Modding question. What's the difference between a UNP and a CBB body? Um, hmm. You, I mean, the default ones, UNP is uh, um, typically slimmer. B CBB, I think the default, right? CBBE is a bit more round, shapely, thick. All-time towers, Skyrim's punching bag. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, they're, they're fairly similar. And you can, you can mod the mods. Ooh, that guy's shooting at me. Woo, that was close. Hey, spinning arrow death cam for the win. I think the uh, bandit chief might be dead. Did we get everybody? Oh, did that archer come over? Oh. Huh. 
but yeah, you, you can pretty much mod either of them to do anything, to look like anything. What's what's the splashing going on over here? I thought that was maybe like a body or something. Okay, Sven, Sven, there you are, my bro. Uh, let's see I've about you getting you a better, you a better weapon. Uh, steel dagger, warhammer. Hmm. Take that and take that. Yes. Try that out. See how you do. All right, loot time. Got an arrow. Some healing stuff. Where did the body go? No, and I used uh, the experience multipliers to increase the rate that uh, our tree increases, but we've, in an hour and a half, have only gained three levels. Yes, what happened to this other archer? Usually they just stay over here. Strange. Um, sure. Do a little bit of lock. Pick. Come on. Ah. Forgot a what? Chus? Chus? C H U S S? I'm assuming that is a autocorrect. Ooh, leather armor. You know, leather armor should not have a skirt. It should really have pants. And both chills. Look at that. Could have bought one, but we got it for free. Okay, so this is going to do same damage as what we've got, plus an extra five points of frost. Sure. Your skill with the bow lets you distribute poisons across more arrows. One vial now lasts two shots or stabs. Well, thank you, Aegeo. That's interesting. Oh, man. That plus uh, alchemy in um, in Ordinator, D do those two work together? That sounds kind of crazy. Oh, chest. Thank you. I forgot a chest. Got that one. Forgot the chest. Valiant bow, not crappy vanilla bows for me. Yeah, um, I have bowgasm installed, but I haven't seen any of the. I haven't seen any of the um, of those bows. Oh, I got the chest already. Okay. There's an enchanted bow at the top of Bloodlet Throne. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I would give him the uh, leather armor, but he's got... Uh, he's got that enchanted thing that reduces his uh, restoration costs. So if that is working... 
It's keeping him alive a little bit. Okay, let's go sell that stuff off. Hello, unlimited power. Welcome to the stream. Got some good people. Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Um, well, I might as well get rid of that. That's fine. I could maybe give, um, spend that. I can probably get rid of this, too. I'm not going to wear the, uh, hooded one. Um, I could keep that on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. The finest weapon. Have you restocked on arrows? You have. Those. You got both sparks. That's it. We're starting to get into the steel. It's the realm of steel. We still don't have that much gold. I do have armor on, but um, like I'm not I'm not going to be perking it or anything. I have light armor, just because I like the look. I did consider just going for clothes, but it's hard to get a good. Um, I was kind of thinking like maybe a sort of a Robin Hood look, but it's hard to find a good good mod for that. Too bad you can make a really good looking. Um, Robin Hood character in ESO, but it's hard to do it in Skyrim. At least in um, the a lot of the a lot of the, the armor mods haven't been patched over to uh, special edition. Badly. I I could don't commission to her. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in um, the world. Jorland Greymane's got that honor. Man steel is legend. Well, if you say so. I can get her to make elven arrows, Nordic arrows. Steel orcish. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, the eagle. There we go. There's the eagle bow. Elven bow looks normal. Stay out of trouble, Red God. Um, Imperial bow also looks normal. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had. Actually, hang on. Let me go to this and then go to this. Look at the bows. We got eagle. Ooh, that is substantially more powerful than what we've got. That looks like the default, too. I thought um, Bogasm replaced all of the stuff. Oh, Toriel's bow. Wow, that's nice looking. Ooh. 1,200 gold. Yeah. That's 900, too. <laughs> oh, man. It's a lot of damage, too. I mean, compared to the crappy bow we're using right now. Very, very. It's very pretty, too. Wish more of these bows were showing up in the, um... In the level list, but they're probably higher level. That's most likely why we're not running across many of them. Ugh, I can't. Af I can't afford this. I don't have enough money. Unfortunately, how are we doing for arrows? Oh, we got pretty good, and we can level. So we'll do some more health, and um. Well, I guess we're doing the first point in uh, steady hands. Cool, cool. You've done well. Um, let's go and see about I work for Bella, a the, the next quest, whatever it is. To you know, the next um, well met, traveler. the next bandit to wipe out that the Yarl wants. Come on in. We got warm food, warm 
This is an old bed. Skyrim's staunch protectors. The if it's work you need, how about shopping? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Yard's men came... Silent Moon, Moon's Camp. Okay. We can get some fairly valuable stuff there. Hunting Giants. I guess they have a fair bit of... Uh, money on them. Usually they have their chests. Oh boy. We got, we got an archer. We got two archers. Don't, don't, don't shoot me, bro. No, oh, he's done. Okay, we got mage. Ow! Now I'm gonna bleed. Try and... Darn it. Okay, he's taking some damage. I don't want to accidentally shoot. Oh, Sven is taking that guy out. Oh, oh, that damn cam not working right. <sighs> Does anybody know of a mod that fixes the um, the the uh, cams? You know, when you get a kill cam, but it. By the time the arrow gets there, the arrow or the spell or whatever, it it glitches out and it's not a kill. Uh, that is so annoying. I've searched for a mod for that and can't find it. Over here. Oh, 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 we got, we, we got, I missed. Why did she run back in? Yeah! Let's actually switch over to steel. And he's done. Oh, wow. She actually died. Wow. Oh, 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 we got another one. Oh, he's done. Forging. Totally useless for this character, but okay. Wait. Did I just gain... Did I just gain... Smithing from the same book? Twice? Oh, heavy armor and light armor. Okay. And you. Let's see about giving you a better weapon. I can give you a war axe. You're currently using a iron sword. I can give you a war axe. I can give you these. These damage at night. Wait, what? You're getting some, uh, some bad um, autocorrect there, unlimited? <laughs> East Empire amulets, one and a half K, just in town. Nice. Try the Wanderer Armor mod. Thanks, bird dog. I'll check that out. Here, take that. And give me this, and this, and this. You don't need that. You lead, I'll there are certainly pull... Oh, I've got an arrow in my... Ow. Whew. Uh, yeah, let's maybe use this, shall we? Just pull that out of my skull? <laughs> it's just you can't type. <laughs> oh! 
Really? I actually was able to recover that arrow out of my head. Interesting. There we go. That's better. That animation's great. Check that out. He actually pulls the arrow from his um, belt quiver. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, I really like these uh, his animations. Take all of that, and we're not gonna go in the back way. We're gonna go in the front way. If you want the whole Robin Hood feel? You can play a female character. The ZZ armor mashups are pretty cool. Huntress armor in that pack is pretty much Robin Hood style. Always use that for my archers. Okay. Ah, PS4 pleb. Oh no. Yeah, unfortunately, PS4 just really got the short end of the stick for uh... Sven. Really got the short end of the stick for and uh, for mods. I eh, for Skyrim. Come on, Sven. We are going in. Hey, okay, that's weird. Yeah, he's done. Ooh, that frost helps. Look at him slow down. Get him, Sven. Sick him. Oh, yeah, that was nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stagger. Do more damage. Oh, yeah, that's real nice. 129 gig of installed mods? Okay, that's... That's a lot. I wonder how much... I don't want a shovel. <laughs> no, I really don't want a shovel. I wonder how many... Like, how much space all... That, that, that makes me wonder how much I've got, too. I, I don't have a lot in the way of texture packs and stuff, so... Oh, come on. Did I, did I really just miss them twice? No, she's done. Okay. Um. Oh, so close. Nope, wrong way. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. We'll have to, like... Like, there? Yep. Sheesh. And... Uh, that's not worth it. Basically not even worth picking up. Had to give up your character because Vamp Lord bugged out. Ah, oh, that sucks. Custom race. And it effed up the character. Saving up for a beefy PC? Aw, oh, yeah. Alright. We dealt with those guys, yeah? So we can go collect the bounty. Excellent. Collect the bounty, sell off the booty, and uh, can we level up again yet? Not quite. What is it, Red God? Um, oh, is that on the balcony? Aventus spends more time dining out on the balcony than, uh, than the Jarl. Hmm. 
Yeah. That's why everyone caps it at 60. I serve Jarl. Excellent. You've done us a great service. It's only 100 gold. Not particularly exciting. Let's go down there. Well, so far so good. What do you guys think of the uh, build so far? We're, I think we're, uh, especially that um, wing strike. That was really nice. Nice addition to our thing. We can stagger guys, do more damage to them. some more iron arrows. Hmm. Removed a lot of the texture mods, having huge error issues where grass and stuff wouldn't load till you're right on top of it. Yeah, that's too bad. It's, it's nice though that like, you really don't have to do that much to make Skyrim look really nice. Even, I mean, even just the base, um, the base uh, special edition still looks pretty good. Not, not too bad. Where am I at for arrows? Uh, I got lots. Don't forget to check inside the shop. Uh, Magicka regenerates faster. You know what? Sven could right pr probably use that. What do you want me to carry? There you go, my bro. Take that. And, um, I don't know if he'll use these. I'll give him, give him those, see if, see if he can make use of those. Oh, I have stuff to sell. I do have more stuff to sell. Look at all of these things. I still have the diamond. Lead on. If you need portions, you should try Arcadia's call. Yeah, I I can run an EMB now with my setup, but I actually it, it, I mean it does slow down performance a bit on my my system, so whatever. I think I'm gonna keep those. Get rid of that. Should probably have some of these health potions. On uh, on my bar, ready to go. And he ran out of money. Do come back. I'm using um, luminosity uh, for the lighting and um, cathedral weathers and seasons, which really does make the weather a lot nicer. Ah, so Although I might switch back spend. to obsidian. Obsidian's good too. Okay, how are we doing for cash? Not bad. Not bad. We might actually want to think about getting a new um, a new bow. Those bows, man. Another thing we could actually do is just get just take like a regular hunting bow and have Yorland uh, upgrade it to. He wouldn't be able to do it to legendary, probably epic. Oh, well, maybe legendary. I don't know. Let's go clear out. Knife Point Ridge. Silent Horizons ENB with ELFX. I haven't actually used ELFX in a long time. I, I um, swapped it out for Luminosity. I should probably... Hello, guys. How are you doing? You ready for an arrow in the... Oh, no. Come on. I, I want to... I want to... I have a present for you, bro. Just stand still for a second. There you go. Yeah! Oh, I got her. 
two epic shots on moving targets, no less. More damn it. I might actually end up doing more with the health. I don't know. Alrighty, we have perk choices. So we've got Hunter's Discipline, recover more uh, arrows, that's nice. Um, we've got Crippling Shot, arrows and bolts slow target within 25 feet for 10 by 10% for 20 seconds and the effect stacks. Very nice. Thread the Needle, um, ignores armor if the target is not moving. Let's do this. More, um, you know, fast-paced, up-front type of stuff. Yorland upgrades to... Legendary. If we're talking on metal. Yeah, the only uh, thing I was wondering if you'd be able to upgrade a hunting bow specifically to Legendary, or if, if it has a max. An ebony bow available right at level one at Lost Vol Volkig. Labyrinthian. Do we want to cheese it and end up with an ebony bow this early on? I don't know. Elucidator prefers vivid weathers and enhanced lighting. Nice. Okay, they're done. Oh, right through the gut. Massive slow time. And... Sven took care of this one. Nicely done. Oh, I'm bleeding. Damn. Okay, let's take the hunting bow. And the free archery lesson. Zypher, yeah, we were already talking about that. The enhanced speed. Talking about that a little bit earlier. I already picked up an Ethereum Wars um, book, so we could actually do that. And I think I leveled, right? No. What was I thinking? Did I pick something up that I thought I was going to use? Oh, let's throw that on. Um, no? Hmm. Oh, whatever. Drink one of those. Get a shot off. There you go. That's more like it. I'm on fire. Stamina poison. Nope. Nope. Nope to those. And oh, really? Did you hear something? I can end this. Yo, here. Ah. It's an archer. Oh, how come stay? Um, watch it. How about how come hitting him? Oh, <laughs> now that's a point blank shot. Am I still bleeding? Damn it, I am. Um, yeah, I'm uh, bashing him wasn't staggering him. That's not right. I'm still bleeding. That is a mage, and the mage is dead. Well done, Sven. Just picked up the Stag Prince Bow and Black Bow of Fate. I've never had the Black Bow before, actually, and love them both. 
some very nice things. Oh yeah, of course you could get uh, Winter Mist or Summer Mist. Enchant a bow with Prey Enchant and see mobs do die like flies. Sounds good. Now let's see about... Um, taking this guy out. I think I missed. Then that didn't work. Yeah, he's not knocking staggered. There we go. Oh, now he's done. Oof. Ouch. We'll take that, and we'll take, ooh. Hide Bracers of Archery. 20% bow damage. Is there actually any reason to go in here? Other than, you know, Working on our lock picking, and he's got a lock pick on him. I mean, we can. I guess there's some iron ore in here. Bit of bread. You get the, you get the black bow in um, Solstheim, right? Okay, those guys are all dealt with, and uh, yeah, we still have that troll we need to work on. What am I doing for carry capacity? Whoa. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go sell some stuff. You hear that? I swear, there's something out there in the dark. There's something out there in the dark. Why don't you go check it out? <laughs> Hello, Gotta friend. love Elrin Deer. He's always awake, always ready to buy. Just what you need. Take one of those, sell all of those. Uh, battle axe, great sword now. He's actually not doing too bad. Getting the black bow is hell. Yeah, miner worked to death by the bandits. I'll keep those, thank you very much. I'm gonna keep these. I mean, they're nice. I don't know if I really want to... I don't really want to overdo the enchanting, because we're going to do an, an actual enchanting build, right? So... Yeah. Well, you know what? Maybe just sell it. Never mind. I don't want to know. I'm just going to give that to you. Thank you very much for your business. Let's also advance time to a time when uh, Eorland might actually be up and about. Ugh, picking up the 30 Crimson Nern Root is such a pain in the butt. You tried is there, dad. um... Sometimes is there the a Black Reach map mod? There used to be for uh, Legendary Edition. I remember he used to use that as part of, I think it was part of this, right? It like, the world map, there's a world map for Skyrim, Solstheim, completely redid the Solstheim one, and had one for Blackreach and the Soul Cairn. My plans for block are basically Turge of the Blooded, and I'm actually going to use the Blooded Armor mod, 
which uh, increases the bleed damage on the shield and also adds some reflect damage on your armor. I mean, obviously I'm not going to um, perk the armor, but it's it's just that mod is too awesome looking to, to pass up when I'm doing a specific, basically a Turge of the Blooded build for all intents and purposes. Uh, yes, Eroland, my friend. There's a nip in the air. There's a lot of stuff on that backpack. Got a pot, got an axe, got a scroll, torch, a necklace hanging off of it, and of course the bedroll itself. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, Soul's time is such a pain to try and navigate. So, apparently, I have never really Eorland still not up. Come on, man. There you go. Uh, I have never fought the Reaper. Do you fear the Reaper? That's the real question. No, I've never fought the Reaper in the Soul in uh, the Soul Cairn. I'm gonna have to do that at some point. My good blacksmith, I would like you to. Well, first of all, what can you craft? Yeah, Ocelum, uh honed metal allows, um, like Eorlin, for example, to craft legendary armor and weapons for you. And then you can have uh, Sergius at the college enchant them to master level. Yeah, Yorland is like known as such a badass. He can get up whenever he wants, you know, make a sword or two and <laughs> just be known as like the legend, the man, the legend. Okay, so he can, oh really, he can make Am I on his... Wait. Need you uh, yes. to craft something for me. Okay, there we go. So you can make, um... Iron through Elven. I guess you can make these things, but I'd have to get the ingredients. Toriel's arrow. I need a quill. Ooh, a mod that enhances the Reaper's gear to make him more worth it. That sounds cool. Creation Kit is messing with me again, wanting to change some invulnerable, invulnerable conjurations back to vulnerable, but a vulnerable, but I can't seem to find the associated path. No. Speech will be pretty interesting. Actually, all of these things are going to be kind of interesting. You know, the, the biggest challenge is going to be heavy armor. Heavy armor has zero offensive capability at all. There is no perks that make heavy armor do anything, really. So I'm going to basically have to be 100% tank for a follower. I don't know how exciting that's going to be to watch. Can he just make the same bows? Yeah. Actually, he can't. There's one bow that um, that he can't make. What was what was that? Oh, the el the um, eagle bow. Yeah, see, he can't make that. Hmm. I don't have fists of steel. Not with ordinator. They moved um, moved all the unarmored stuff to light armor. Okay, I want you to talk to me. A lot of steel to shape. Can you upgrade my equipment? So. Yes. Take that, and what can you improve that to? Legendary. 31. Wow. Go from 13 to 31? Nice.
Yeah, can't block because I will have done already done block. That will be <laughs> kind of brutal. All right. Well, guys, we've reached the two-hour mark. Um, we've got to level six. We actually have a perk available. We could do the whole ignore 25% of armor. Or we can do... Hunter's Discipline. Basically, get more arrows. Or... Ignore armor. I think we'll do the ignore armor for now. So for any targets that are like at, a, at range, we do extra damage and we cut through their armor. So there we go. I think that is going to be a wrap for today's stream. Thank you very much for, to Tom Miller for being the first member of the channel. Absolutely awesome, dude. Um, thank you very much for everybody for joining me today. We had a super successful stream. We had like, we're hovering around like 30 people for the entire uh, afternoon. That's pretty cool. Lots of awesome mod talk, guys. Thank you for that, too. I'll go and check out some of those mods. I, I still don't know why we haven't come across more of the bows from Bowgasm. Yeah, we do have all the uh, the arrows from I Want More Arrows, so thank you very much for Magus, to Magus for recommending that mod. And I hope you guys all have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. Thank you, Demork. No problem. You are welcome. Have a lovely day, everybody. Unlimited power, especially. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow with uh, the next episode of this. So, guys, hope you have a great time. This is your first time seeing the whole stream, Five Arm. Awesome, uh, awesome moment. Achievement. Achievement unlocked. Yes. Thank you, Enrico. Time to go make some cake. <laughs> Take care, guys. Hope you have a great day.